We will now adapt the truth table for simplifying sum of product expressions. In the truth table, product terms are scattered in non-adjacent rows. We will arrange the truth table to bring these rows together. We will consider first the two input case. In the expression shown, the term B bar consists of the first and third rows of the truth table. We can bring together these rows, now thought of as cells, if we rearrange the truth table into a two-dimensional map called the Carnot map. In the two-input Carnot map, the first input A is presented in rows. The second input B is presented in columns. For each input, the value 0 is presented first and the value 1 is presented second. Hence, A equal 1 will consist of the two cells forming the second row, and B equal 0, the two cells forming the first column. For the Carnot map, it is customary to represent the rows as A and A bar, and the columns as B and B bar. This makes it easier to read and write SOP expressions. Thus, in the Carnot map, each product term is represented by a continuous grouping of cells. For future reference, I will call each of these a binary anded grouping, or bag. Thus, the B bar bag consists of the two adjacent cells forming the B bar column and the AB bag consists of the single cell in the A row and B column. We will now see how to fill the Carnot map. Consider, for instance, the expression shown. As with the truth table, we enter ones in the Carnot map, term by term, adding each bag as we go along. With the Carnot map, it is better to start with the lowest order terms first since these will provide the biggest bags. So for the B bar term, we identify the B bar bag and then place ones in the bag. Likewise for the A bar B term. Fill in the zeros, et voila, we have the Carnot map for the given expression. In the next video, we move on to Carnot maps of four input variables.